Hello, my name is Rand Baldwin. This is Soaring Cafe. We're uh, pleased to be here visiting with Dick Butler at his Irie in Middle Tennessee. We're sitting in Dick's hangar where the Concordia project uh, really originated in terms of uh, putting, uh, putting carbon fiber uh, together. And uh, Dick has done a tremendous amount of work over the last several years on this project and he's beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, uh, Dick, welcome. Thank you, Rand, and thank you and Bill for uh, all the wonderful things you've said about Concordia and the team and the project and uh, in your soaring cafe, and we're uh, delighted to hopefully be a part of it. Well, great. Yeah, it's certainly been an exciting project, and all this, it's, it's, it's really been a hit on the soaring cafe, so a lot of people around the world have been following it religiously. So, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing now? I know that the uh, fuselage was recently finished by m and Soaring, and uh, they did a beautiful job. We were, we were just looking at it a few minutes ago. Uh, so what's next on the agenda? Well, uh, m and uh, also has the inner panels and the outer panels and the winglets and uh, doing the contouring, closing of the leading edge or contouring of the leading edge and and gel coating and finishing those and then uh, uh, hopefully if uh, there's any energy left in Heinze and his team then uh, they'll uh, also address the middle panels but before then uh, there's uh, a lot of things that have to be done some structurally still uh, and fortunately I've got a a lot of good people helping me on this. Uh, Honko Strifenator is here now, and he and I will be working very uh, hard the next couple of weeks on uh, finishing the rudder, uh, from closing the leading edge to mass balancing to uh, finishing the spoilers in, in terms of the cap strips and so forth there. So uh, there's actually a roundup, excuse me, a whole lot. Uh, typical uh, work breakdown structure here of uh, many items that remain before uh, first flight with uh, uh, with a, a schedule that hopefully can make all of these things happen and uh, so we've got a, a very uh, challenging task before us to finish before Uvalde and it would not be possible without a uh, a lot of the team members on this thing uh, coming to the uh, to the rescue, so to speak. But when you get near the finish line, it's uh, it kind of adds a lot of enthusiasm and energy to all of us. Great. Well, we're we're all excited to uh, to see it fly, as as I know you are, and uh, and and fly in Uvalde, the worlds. That that'll be a uh, a tremendous achievement to get this plane ready in time, and and then debut it on the world stage. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I uh, obviously wished we uh, had finished the plane this time last year in order to have it hopefully checked out and tuned before Uvalde, but uh, but it's, uh, it wasn't possible, so uh, we're excited about taking it to Uvalde. Hopefully we'll have a few weeks prior to that time to uh, flight test it and ensure first of all that it's airworthy, safe, uh, and doesn't have any any flutter issues and uh, and then spend what time's left trying to tune the plane a little bit to uh, hopefully achieve at least a part of its uh, its performance potential. Well thanks Dick, we really appreciate your taking the time to uh, to, to spend a few minutes uh, telling us about what's going on and, and uh, we wish you the best. Look forward to uh, flying the plane and certainly being a part of the U.S. team with Bill and the the other members. Uh, Ron Tabry and I are uh, hopefully going to be able to team fly and help each other out, and, uh, and one of us or both on the podium. Great, we'd love to see that. This is Rand Baldwin reporting for the Soaring Cafe.